Hey there, how are you church? Today in the pastor's letter, we're gonna be looking at the passage in John chapter two about the triumphal entry. It's, it's John's version of that when Jesus goes in and cleanses the temple. So I'm gonna focus uh, my remarks today in the pastor's letter and I hope you'll read it. <clears throat> it is linked to this video. Yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just go below the description and you'll find a link that'll take you to the pastor's letter. Anyway, so we're talking about the small cords, the, the scourge of small cords. He always makes a scourge because he has a right to judge his temple. He has a right to clean it out. And, you know, we, we read that passage and we say, oh, isn't that marvelous? He goes in and he makes things right and he cleans it up and he gets all the clutter out and all the improper motives out and all the rest. But remember, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost if we're in Christ. If we're believers of the Lord Jesus, if, we're, if we consider ourselves members of the church, then he has a right to walk into his temple, that is, in here, and in that temple, he has a right to drive out the clutter and make things orderly again. And you know what? If you're honest... If you're honest, and I, I want to be honest with myself, and I know you want to be honest with yourself, sometimes we allow the things of worship to become the things worshipped. Just like the ox and the sheep and the doves. They had a place in the temple, but they didn't have a place above the temple. And that's what had happened. They had turned that into profit. And so money and the motivation to make money became the reason for those men who were the money changers and the sellers there, that's why they went to the temple. So we can easily turn the things that are meant for worship into the things worshiped. And that's when Jesus will come in and make a small, uh, a scourge of small cords and do his work. He's going to do his work. And so I encourage you today to examine your heart, your temple. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. So examine that temple and check out things that might be out of order, things that may have changed places with the Lord, things that are now worshiped rather than elements of worship. So just, and you know what those things are. I'm sure as I'm saying this, you're thinking of things that are possible problems. Um, do something about it. Judge yourself. You know, if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. And he's going to come in and clean his church up. And he does that on occasion, and I'm sure you know that as well. So it's time, perhaps during this Holy Week, as we approach Holy Week, to prepare our hearts by driving out the money changers out of our own temple, the ox and the sheep and the doves and the tables and all the rest, and just get rid of all the clutter, all of the things that blur and distort the vision of worship, get it all out, so that during this time that we set aside for Easter, uh, you know, we can focus properly on the Lord God and his Savior, the Lord Jesus. All right, I hope this finds you doing well. Love you guys, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.